Shay 45th, what up, doe? How you guys doing today? We got a bit it's a big day for you today. Well, well, go on your little phone. Go on your iTunes or Google Play. And I want you to search. You probably just open it up. Yep. And type in revival. Eminem. Drops. It's out. And not just that. Not not only is it out. One hour from now, approximately 5 p.m. Eastern time. Eminem will be doing a fireside chat where he's taking questions from the press and listeners like you. Be sure to stay tuned for that. Fucking Mr. Slim Shady. Still fucking whooping ass after all. Shit. When he come out like 99. Still crushing that shit. Still crushing that shit. One of the best rappers ever. Drops his new album, Revival. And he's going to take over all the satellites. He won't just be on our set. He's going to be on a gang of different stations too, huh? I'm looking. Volume too. Look at that. Fuck yeah. And Hip Hop Nation? Fuck, dude. That's when you know you got pull. You could just take over like, yeah, these three stations. I got that shit. I got that shit. Don't even worry about it. All right, let's play some music. Come on back. Come on, son. You're listening to Eminem's Shade 45. Shade 45. Shady's got the mass appeal, baby. The hype. The hype is real. Serious XM. On the knock is serious. Shade 45. The countdown. We're almost there. I don't want you guys to go anywhere. Shady Fireside Chat live from the D. Detroit, Michigan. Tray one tree, tree one tree. Let's not left. Not, let's not leave out the suburbs. Seven three four two four right. Flint up there in eight one zero Michigan representing five eight six for the east side. Yo, hey, yo. Eminem's gonna sit down. He's gonna talk to you. He's gonna talk to the press. He's gonna talk to listeners. He's gonna talk about his album. What's going on? Brand new album revival is out now. Cop that shit. It's in stores now, but really, who goes to stores? It's on phones now. Hop on your phone, download that shit. Sync up your Bluetooth, drive around, listen to that shit in your car. Boom, boom, boom. Bumping. <laughs> Low key, I think I even get a shout out. See if you can find it. I'm not going to tell you where. I'm not going to tell you where, but just low key, I think I might have gotten a shout out. That's not even a humble brag. That's a brag brag. So go buy the album right now. Revival on everything. Everywhere. And did it again. And if you stick around on the station, you will hear from the man himself, the boss man. Talk about revival. But first, let's play this song. We all, All right, you sons of bitches. We are a cunt hair away from this. You hear me? A fucking cunt hair away. I want you to turn the channel. What, oh, you just got here? You ain't hear the news? Well, I'm going to tell you the news. Eminem, Slim Shady, motherfucking, mother, motherfucking Mr. Mother, Slim Shady himself. It's going to be doing the Shady Fireside Chat live from Detroit. They used, to do, they, used, they used to do the fireside chats. I think Roosevelt did that shit back in the day or something like that. Them presidents would do that shit. Talk about the State of the Union and everything. Well, Em's doing that. Talking about his new album, Revival. It's in stores right now. I know you motherfuckers don't buy shit. You stream shit. It's being streamed right now. Download that shit. Buy it on motherfucking iTunes. I like to own my shit. I don't like streaming. I like to be able to fucking listen while I'm on an airplane. It makes me feel better about stuff. Cop that shit. Listen. Shit, cop it right now. Listen for a little bit and then turn it back. Turn back on at 5 p.m. sharp. Eminem will be live from Detroit. He'll be live from the D. Talking about the album. Talking about life. 
answering questions, talking to the press and to the fucking callers and the listeners like yourself. And that's just moments away. Do not go anywhere. I want you to stay locked on. We taking this shit over. Oh, you oh you do want to change? Well, it's going to be on motherfucking on mother, Hip Hop Nation and uh, what's the other one? Fucking The Heat. And Volume. Is that all going to be live at the same time or is that going to be, are they going to do that later? It does look like a simulcast. Wow, that's dope. If you don't hear, if you don't hear them on that station, come back to this station anyway. Damn, that's a hell of a takeover. That's fucking hard as shit. And in case you uh, just go buy that album too, just for good measure, so you know what he's talking about when he's when he's referencing shit. All right, Shay Forty Five. That shit, um, yo. What up, though? How y'all doing out there? You probably like Jew. Why you playing Paul Simon? Cause he's Jewish. Why you playing Jewish shit? Cause Hanukkah radio's coming up in an hour. That's what I'll be doing. And I like this song. Fucking happy Hanukkah to all my motherfucking Jewish folks out there. Rosenberg and friends is gonna be taking shit over. That's the boss, man. I'm going to duck on out. G Perico will be talking to me in a little bit. I want to shout out Louisville, Kentuck, for coming out there, man, and uh, showing some love this Saturday. Thank you. Appreciate you. You guys are all right with me. I fuck with y'all. Heavy. Good to see all them friendly faces. Yep, that's right. That's that, that's a good thing about Look, Yeah, Yeah, he wrote a book. He keeps traveling. But let's be real, like I'm not I'm not going around selling the book to people that buy the book. I'm I'm talking to listeners. So it's cool just to be able to get out there and see see cats that listen to listen to Shade 45, listen to All Out Show. I appreciate y'all. Tonight I will be at Roch, uh the Barnes and Noble, 7 p.m. Rochester, Michigan. 248. I'm coming home. That's where I'm from. I'm from the 248. 7 p.m. Come see me if you in Michigan. G Perico, my guy, West Coast dude, LA like a motherfucker. He's coming in. He's going to kick it with me. We're going to talk a little shit. We're going to play some of his music. We're going to chop, chop it up. And then uh, after that, it's Hanukkah Radio. Don't go anywhere. All out show. All day, baby. No, I can't help it. That I'm custom made. I can't help it that I look good, smell good, Woo! can dance all night long. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. Ooh, yeah, 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 I'm so excited. Yeah, I got a new flex added to the cypher. Yeah, I got a new flex and I'm so excited. Yeah, I got a new flex and I know I like it. G Perico. What's happening? How you doing, sir? I'm doing real good, man. It's your second time on the show, man. Yeah, man, that's dope. You keep fucking growing every time I holler at you, man. You're getting bigger and bigger, man. Man, that's just a good thing, man. That's fucking awesome. I love I love seeing that shit. Hometown cats just doing it. Well, you LA. But I'm out here in LA, so fuck it. It's hometown. Yeah, it's all I love. You know what I mean? How you been, bro? I've been good, man. Been real good. Just working, you know, uh building. Yeah, last time, last time you was uh, last time you was here, we were talking about your last thing, and then um, you getting shot. You said, I, I feel yeah, like that, you, you got away from all that. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm still around, but I, you know, my my chances of getting shot right now is slim as fuck. You how I mean? how did you lower those chances? Man, I just move. I move a whole lot different, and uh, my business is in other places now. My business is where <laughs> my business isn't where you know. Your All business. the bullshit is going on at my that's, business is, you know, legit. That's pretty right good, now. man. You do, it's Sometimes it takes a minute to wisen up, man. Do you feel better? You less stressed? Yeah, yeah, I feel better. But you know what the crazy part was? I was fighting with myself. Why? Just, I don't know. I felt like I was doing something wrong, like leaving the street shit alone. Do you feel like a lot, so much of where you're... Look, man, I don't... You can agree or disagree or... I don't know how to pose this question... 
I remember so much of my identity came from being from Michigan and uh, certain things. It was very hard to get rid of to to divorce yourself from that yeah. and move forward. Is that where you, is that what you? Is Shit, that what you yeah. experienced? Hell yeah, my whole entire the whole entire life existence, what I started, was right there. So, yeah, it it, it was a um, cool little experience. You know yeah, what I'm saying? but you know, we passed it. Well, how'd you get? The, how'd you? How'd you come? How'd you come to terms with all this shit? Um, for one, I just accepted the shit. But like, um, you know, just hollering at different people that been in the same situation, other niggas from the street. Yeah, that's successful now elsewhere and still, you know, one hundred. So, you know, just hollering at different people and just seeing the world in a different in a different view. And then you know, this music been moving me around the country and shit. Yeah. And just the opportunities, like, man, all right, I could keep doing this music and talk about the shit that, you know, that yeah. happened. Or I could actually still be in the shit and I fuck around and get killed, somebody get killed or be back in prison. And all them three, I mean, you're going to die regardless, but, right. you know, uh, it's rather later than sooner. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if the all them three options right there, nobody going to talk about me. I ain't going to be legendary. I'm just gonna be a typical statistic. You'll you know, blow up you know on Facebook. Saying? You'll blow up on Instagram for a day, right? And then you got yeah, you got about a it, half a day on Facebook posting yeah, shit. Yeah, and then, you'll, you know, you'll get some memes, right? And then that's, so that's out. You know what I mean? It's the the cool thing is is like once the the other thing that I learned too. Uh, I was writing about in the briefly in the next in my last one in my last book was just uh, the not just. Commun- you gotta you gotta learn how to communicate differently. Mm-hmm. Like the shit that you you know the way you deal you the way you handle people in one situation is totally different than the the way. Like I came into the office just checking people in the in, in the yeah, hallway. It's a, lot, it's a lot different. Like you can't the way you operate in street business and actual legit shit. Like it get you eighty six out the legit world. Yeah, that won't. They you know will not. <laughs> they don't want to fuck with you. <laughs> Like don't fuck with him, man. He's overly aggressive. He's crazy. Yep. Yeah. It, it'll they fuck just you want up. emails, bro. They want strongly worded emails, <laughs> citing facts, and uh, they need paper trails. Yeah. But the crazy thing is, is like, if you if you got a if you got a hungry attitude, I I feel it's one of those deals that's so hard to climb and crawl out of a situation. But then once you're in, once you're on to the next. On, onto something bigger and better, it almost you have a bit of an advantage if 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 you know how to temper. Oh yeah, no doubt. Temper your feelings and really work within the system because it's like you're you're just a little hungrier than these cats. Yeah. You little you you're a little more because you smart. know what you're going back to. Yes. If you don't get this. Yes. Yeah. You get you a good lawyer. You're fucking golden. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> No, yeah, that's yeah, that's uh, that's my one. I still don't like. Like someone probably could still rob the fuck out of me with the contract. Still, I still I look at that shit. I'm like, what the fuck is? Oh, you ain't got the you ain't. I got, got the, a lawyer. I don't know. I, I, I'm like, oh, yo, okay. Yeah, the, the, the contracts. The contracts shit. crazy, man. A lot of them been in my face lately, and um, the wording is a motherfucker. They say the same thing in three different ways, and it. Oh man, no the is third crazy. way is they it's move a comma yeah. to fuck you. You're like. Right, you really got to be on your p's and q's with yeah. that shit. Exactly. How's how's the creative process been for you? The creative process been dope, man. I've been in it. I've been in the zone. Yeah, I've been in the zone lately. After I got over to just like me not being in the hood every day, shit. Yeah. After I got over that, and now it's just more so of a, um, it's like a mixture of shit, like me reminiscing, me talking about what's going on right now. Yeah, and the future of you know what I'm trying to do. So man, I feel good as fuck about everything. So you know the the creative process is crazy, man. I've been writing so much shit, man. I think L. A. really has a uh, in in a in a time right now where so many motherfuckers the internet's got everybody sounding like each other. Yeah, you guys have uh, L. A. artists have been able to really maintain your sound. Why do you think that is? I think it's just the 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 light. It's just the lifestyle. Like people are die hard out here. Like you know, it's like a it's a gang culture out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So 
it's damn near impossible to adapt some other shit when you just bred L.A., this my set right here, this where I'm from. You know what I mean? You fed this yeah. lifestyle from the beginning to the end. So, yeah, it's hard to adopt other shit. We already got, like, a strong identity. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. There's a, yeah, there's a few... Uh, there's a f- there's a few cities that I'm just right. like oh. Chicago. Yep. You know what I mean? They not adopting no other shit because that's a, like a, a built in gang town. Like for years, like you know what I mean? So do you think do you think the do you think the presence of you're saying the presence of gangs help shape the sound of the music? It's just the pretty much the presence of the culture. It doesn't yeah. have to be gangs, but yeah, it's I mean the gang shit is a force behind it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because it's like kind of like um being a part of a sports team or something like that like if you a die hard laker you're a fucking laker like that shit don't change so I, yo this crazy shit is i hate the lakers so much because i'm a pistons <laughs> fan i was See, buy- you die hard pistons yeah, yeah i don't change i was like gonna buy a backgammon board it looks sweet as hell but then i noticed it was yellow and purple i was like nah i can't even <laughs> nah i can't even do that shit i can't right, even do that exactly shit. like it was, like it was just in my brain so it go to that part right there so when it's other different types of music that you hear like no i'm fucking this me right here this la fuck that i can't you know i like that other shit but fuck this LA. LA right here you know what I mean what's a what's a we're gonna play we're gonna play a couple of songs what's affiliated about affiliated is it's, it's basically like just a, um you know a depiction of all the shit that I've been through like from uh from the start till now so uh you know in the hook I say affiliated with ex-cons flockers and drug dealers you know what I mean but then I also go to affiliated with million dollar motherfuckers you know what I'm saying which is the new part of my life you know what i mean i'm dealing with millionaires now you know what that I'm saying? cool like at first i was around a gang of felons and killers and shit and i fell into that now my circle is motherfuckers this you know upper bro, echelon so you know bro yeah. take advantage of that shit too exactly. I, every, every time i be like so what what what, 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 what you investing in <laughs> like i, I just want to yeah. i want to know i like to study rich motherfuckers and see what they're doing no doubt just the, it's the same i'm just adapting my same street formula i yep. want it to be the best street now it's you know i want to be a musician entrepreneur legendary icon you know what i mean historical i want to be talked about in 30 years 100 years you know my saying? one rich homie like he, he drives a used rav4 you know what i mean he's the richest guy i know and he paid yeah oh bro, yeah and then the I'm funny, noticing that yeah. the funny shit is his wheels got stole. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Yo, bro, you got to get something a little less uh, popular with with certain cats." Somebody swiped the uh, yeah. stocks, huh? He came out. He came out. It was on blocks. Yeah, them stocks be worth a uh, um, little end sometimes. Yeah, they got them. <laughs> 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 All right, let's let's play affiliated. Here it is. I like how you chose that. It's got a the beat's got a real old school feel to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do it on purpose for this one? It's just something that I like. You know what I mean, yeah. it really wasn't a, um like nothing that I did on purpose. It just happened. You know what I mean? Cardo uh, made the Cardo on polyester made the beat and shit. That's what, and I was feeling it while they was cooking it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's got a real like '90s feel to it. Yeah, which, yeah. It's actually uh Spice One like. It's That's, like a Spice One uh, remake, kind of. That was kind of what I got. And then yeah. I also noticed that you had the America with the three Ks. I, uh, another Spice One, another nod to Spice One. I don't Spice know. One, Ice Cube, everybody yeah. around that time. Yeah, yeah. that was, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> was kind of how you spelled it. Yeah. In case you're just tuning in, we got G Perico to the left. To Grab the that left. shit. What's that mean? To the left is it's just basically my affiliation. Like, uh, you know, my hood, my specific uh, section set. We wear our, uh, you know, we hang our colors to the left. You know what I mean? It's funny all the, uh, there's so many signals that we send one another without, there's, there's so much communication going on without words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I went to Chicago, I didn't know about that shit, you know. Wearing I mean? hats to the certain bro, side. Yeah, yeah, some motherfucker was like, hey, bro, straighten that shit out. I was like, huh? Is it? I didn't know what the fuck he was saying. Yeah. Then he explained it to me in a nice way. <laughs> <laughs> And we didn't have that problem no more. I'm like, all right. Yeah, yeah, you gotta know where you at. So, yeah, straight. You the know fuck that, up. that's basically me just informing motherfuckers on uh, you know what's going on when you hit the city, because you know a lot of people just fashion and don't get it. Is it weird for you to see uh, rappers kind of started renting a gang lifestyle? Like, 
I, that's the nicest way I could put it. I don't know. They seem they seem to got, get there a little bit late and then uh, yes. <laughs> pay for some bodyguards and then I, I see bandanas on them. And, and then shit. they from the set. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of that going on. You know what I mean? And um, you know, from from me being looking at it from a street perspective, like I'm like that's some bullshit. Right. But then you know, I'm a businessman now, so um, it, I got to pick my battles. Right. You know what I mean? It's almost like can it's it's uh can you begrudge some cats for for doing that but it also it also uh I don't know if it cheapens the brand or strength strengthens the brand. It it, it is like a catch 22. It's like a little bit of both. Like it strengthens it and then, you know, and weaken it at the same time like with the blood shit like everybody turned into a blood. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that it is um people look at it as serious as it really is no more you know right I mean? yeah yeah i mean yeah it was, it was just crazy it was crazy to see it like spread to the east coast and stuff yeah. like that and i i'm not i'm sure i'm sure you got you got some real cats out there yeah, wearing, it's some real it's a yeah. lot of real ones yeah you know what i mean i'm not i'm not saying that it was just it was uh it was interesting to see as a bystander sitting on the sidelines like huh yeah, from the outside looking in, it definitely is like, you know, what, what's going on. You know what I mean? But, you know, uh, it's just, I guess just people just being infatuated with the with the lifestyle, you know, finally get their chance to do it without really doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Let's, uh, I want to play another song. I noticed you got a few, uh, you got a few different. You got a few different uh, features on here. I like that you got Mozzie on here, man. Yeah, I got features this time. Mozzie, that's my boy, man. Talk to me about talk to me about Mozzie and uh, how you decided to do a song with him. Mozzie, 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 a dope dude. Like me and Mozzie, kind of like parallel as far as just life, the lifestyle, age, everything. Like yeah. the, the generation we come up out of. You know what I mean? And then when I met him, like it was just like cold chemistry. Like we just we made a grip of songs that night. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and like I said, we got a lot of shit in common. But he from Sac, you know, yeah. and I'm from uh, L.A. But it, it's still the gang culture and, and the generation is similar. Well the exact same no you know shit what, I'm saying? what generation do you do you relate to what generation are you from uh like the 2000s or yeah. like early mid 2000s yeah you're yeah what was that like for you coming up coming up man that was like the i mean that was like the um i think like the most violent times towards the end of the last part of the most violent times yeah in los angeles yeah because uh you know when i was coming up like making my name those were the most violent most murders you know the craziest time and that's like when i learned everything about you know how i should operate as a you know a gangster you know what i'm saying and um how i should carry myself so i learned from a, a crazy time where all my homies was killing and shit like everybody that raised me that i came up under like got or in jail for murders yep got murdered or fucking crazy as fuck right now you know what i'm saying it's only like a handful of people that's still around and you know how it go when you make it through you go get a job or some shit so yeah you know it's uh shit was crazy man yeah i can't even imagine i can't even imagine to, so tell but me. it was fun though you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> yeah i'm sure there was yeah i'm sure but there it was, was some fun. it's only crazy it was crazy when i look back at it like when i was in there involved like it wasn't crazy it was you know that's it is what it is uh what's real mozzie what's real Let's uh we got G Perico up in this bitch. Let's go. What up, O's? I like when rappers call out names. It's just it's yeah. just way better that way. Yeah, that way you ain't gotta do no guessing or nothing. Yeah, man, I don't want to have to turn into Columbo and fucking, you know, start guessing his like shit. Like he said this and he did that. And does he, he must mean be this? talking about him. It wasn't always like that, bro. I got you know who you know who started doing that? Biggie. Biggie. Biggie, Biggie with the who Jigga. shot you. Yeah. That shit. It was like before you just straight at you. Yeah. Some motherfucker, fuck you. Yeah, like Cube or some shit. Like he would just boom, this is who he's talking about. Like, all yeah, right. Yeah, that's the best shit. I really liked that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, okay, we don't have to have a whole discussion here. There's no subliminal shit. It's just right. going after somebody. I like that. To the left, it is out. G Perico. 
I appreciate you coming by. You want to spit something or? Yeah, sure. I I rap a little bit. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta let's well, let's go back on these cats. We got a Snoop beat for you, man. Uh, G. Look, huh? Ruger on my side, on the flow, if you come to my door. I be the last man standing, you challenge, you gotta go. Teflon on my life, boy, I ain't gon' die. I've been in shit before, I know who ain't gon' ride. I know who talk about me when I'm gone. Then call my phone, talking love shit, you really only hate me cause I'm on. Same story in my hood like it is in yours. If you got it, niggas sitting around plotting on yours. Tell me if I get to popping. And fake niggas start dropping, guess who? They mama's about to start calling. Hair wet on a sunny day. To the jet for the money play, November 2nd to the 2nd of May. My foundation all the way gangster. The enterprise, my shit and labels gotta buy in. Boy, I got Jewish ways too. Gotta get paid too. Lost years of my life. So tell me how I ain't paid dues. The view is crazy. The air's amazing. Rumors been popping up. I'm going crazy. I'm just a street nigga on the grind. Hard liquor, fuck wine. I feel like it's my time. Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh. Look, let me spit some more shit. Go ahead, get that shit. Uh, G Brico, y'all, let's go. Really ain't got time to waste. It ain't enough time in a day. You cool stand with your mama, I moved away. Fuck this BMW, I want a wraith. Tales from a crib, nigga. Never mind my habits. What I want, I gotta have it. Money fiend, pussy fiend. Even though I'm off the east side, I still like nice things. Vroom, vroom, the car, I dog it. Old school, I just had to go smog it. Remember me on the 103rd? <laughs> so budget, man. We're hey, supposed to be a good show. Shit don't stop. Hey, it's all good. Shit don't stop. Gotta reloop that's, YouTube. Go that's ahead, the, man. Uh, that's the uh, that's the raw version right there. Yeah, it's you know raw as fuck. That's real. Yeah, it's that's real. real rap. Real mm, budget. You know? It was that's doing a real good rap job right there. Mm, I finally, I, I, I never could rap and shit like this. Every time they tell me to rap, my mind go blank. Yeah, and, yeah. And How'd you get over it? I don't know. Just I'm, fucking, just kept doing it till you got nah, used to it. This like the first time I even like for real. Yeah, I use my shit. They be like, you want to rap? And I be, you know, I can't say no. Right. It's like if a motherfucker telling you you want to fight. Yeah. You can't say no. You got to fight, yep. win, lose, or whatever. But my mind, <laughs> my body to go blank out on me. Especially if you are a rapper. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not like you come in here for a cooking show. I'm like, yo, bust a verse. You know what I'm I mean? Like, what, man? I make chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Follow him at BG Perico, P E R I C O. Yeah. On everything. And so way out. So way out. Dot com. Yo, man. I love, I love seeing you just keep keep doing this shit, bro. Yeah, keep man. Keep building, man. Shit don't stop, man. We got to keep going. Let's go. Oh. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. Nigga, we ain't throwing no flat. 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 Shout out to G Perico, my guy. Hanukkah Radio is coming up next with the bosses. I can't wait to see what they're going to have in store for you. Are they going to play one of their famous games, Jew or not a Jew? I did the fucking Ancestry. An- Ancestry, what did I do, 23 and me? You want to guess, Chris, Jew or not a Jew for me? What's the game? I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. Well, they'll put a famous person... They, I don't know if they're gonna do it this time, but they usually do it like they'll, they'll do like a famous person, and then you gotta guess whether or not whether or not they're Jewish. Okay, and if I saw you, you'd be you'd be surprised how many fucking like it's ridiculous, uh, like how many Jewish motherfuckers are are doing shit. <laughs> it makes you really take a long look in the mirror, like God damn, we really gotta step our I gotta step our game up. Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, Karl Marx, go ahead. Karl Marx. Karl Marx. I'm going to say not a Jew. Jew. Really? Yeah. That just blew my mind right now. You ain't know that shit? No. Yeah, bro. Wow. Or maybe I'm wrong. I'm the Jew. (laughs) We're talking about Karl Marx, a philosopher, right? Maybe it wasn't. I think they were Lenin? Well, maybe Lenin was Jewish. 
God, see, I would know this. <laughs> if I was Jewish, I would know this better. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't. I know Lennon was. Or was he? Lennon mm. Jew or not a Jew. I would have I would have guessed he wasn't a Jew either, just because they're from England, so. Lennon ain't from motherfucking England. He's from Russia. Proves how much I know about the Beatles. My wife would be super disappointed. Motherfucker, I'm not talking about uh I'm not talking about the Beatles, Lennon. I'm talking about the dude that uh did the communism in Russia. Oh man. <laughs> Bro, we we some fucking idiots, man. <laughs> you and me both. Oh man, That's... I don't even know if he's fucking Jewish. Either. <laughs> God, I'm bad at this. That's why we're gonna leave that to motherfucking uh, to Hanukkah radio. God, I hope they do a Jew or not a Jew. This shit is the best. Yeah, do you think I'll pick somebody I was sure about? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> to give you an example, all right, uh, Jude Angelini. Jew or not a Jew? When I first saw you, I could have sworn you were a Jew. I saw that your big it. nose. <laughs> light skin. Wow. <laughs> L- light skin with a big nose and a red beard. So you went Jew? Oh, man. That's what I would have done. Not a Jew. I know. Not a Jew. I'm going, well, now I know you're Italian, but when I first I met know, you. I know, but I, I could have had, I could have, you don't know what's on my mom's side. You that's know? true. How about this one? I'll give you one. All right, you give me one. Dustin Hoffman. Bro, come on. Shut the fuck. Man, that motherfucker Jewish as, Jewish as hell, bro. <laughs> yep, he is Jewish. Yeah, man, yeah. I, like, I, don't yo, know. I can't tell the Fucking difference. Hollywood, man. Come on. <laughs> they built that shit. The Jewish motherfuckers built that shit. Hanukkah Radio, dog, coming up. Hanukkah Radio is coming up. I hope, that, I hope they play that game. That's one of my favorite games because I listen to that shit. Um, yo, hey, guess what? Guess what, y'all? Rochester, Michigan, I will be out there this evening, 7 p.m., Barnes & Noble, come see me. This is it. This is your one chance. You don't want, you, look, I get it last time. Uh, you, some cats don't want to leave Detroit. Other people don't want to drive to Detroit. So what do I do? I do one in the burbs. I do one out, one in the city. So I did, I did the one in the city. This is it. This is your last shot right here. You only get one shot to see Judy. Come on out, Rochester, Michigan. Get yourself, uh, get get your family some Christmas presents. Hummingbirds, hyenas. I'm signing them. I'm taking pictures. I'm shaking hands. I don't know if they can let me read or not, but if they do, I will. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Coming up next is Hanukkah Radio. Come on, come on. Hey, see pain, see pain. It's twister. Coming this way. Come on, we got a prefab. 